Hi everybody in YouTube land, this is Cheryl with the Craft Nut 32 and I am coming to you today to show you a video that I am making for a flower swap, swap I'm involved in. Um, over at the Little Scrap of Heaven, Cynthia Luhu is hosting a swap and I joined it and the theme was summer flowers. So I have created the summer flower, it's um, a black eyed Susan. Um, and I just thought I would share with you how I did it. I have one left to make and I thought I would make it with you and show you how I came to ending up with this. So, um, anyways, I'll get started and I'll explain to you how I did it as I go. So I have made six already and the swap needed to have, um, the swap was for seven, there was groups of eight, so I've made one for myself already just kind of as the demo to get started and what I'll do is first off show you how I made the center of the book. Um, the book of the flower. So this um, little cut here, I have seven of them. It is from the Forever Young cartridge and it's from page 67 and it's the shift feature. I cut it out at one and a quarter inches um, and it kind of gave me this really nice scalloped little edge here. Um, and when I was starting off, I googled summer flowers, and I wound up choosing the Black Eyed Susan. Just There's a lot of daisies in and around where I live here in Ontario, um, and there was some in my backyard, some Black Eyed Susans, and I thought, I just love them, and they're just bright and colorful, and when I, um, there was just a ton of them for Google Images. So then I went to YouTube, and I googled paper flowers, just because I wanted to do something special. I saw a lady who had made the um, centers as her full flower. And I thought that would be quite a unique way of making the center for my Black Eyed Susan. So she had a larger flower, so I've just kind of brought it down to scale for my flower. I don't remember who it was, but if you go on YouTube and you search paper flowers, you'll see um, the lady who did this. I think she had some pink and purple and all that kind of stuff. So for mine, I just used some brown recollections paper I have distressed the edge of it to kind of give it a two-tone with a vintage photo distress ink. Um, and so what I did to create the centers is I have them already cut out. I have a little mini mister and I spray each one. And that really helped also with the um, distress ink. Kind of gave it a really nice look. So then I crumple it all together and I... Um, and fold them all. So I keep doing that with all of them and I try to sop up any of the extra little water here. And uh, kind of leaves like a nice little crease in them and So there is a little bit of extra water left over, so I just have a Kleenex. I had a little cloth when I did all of them. I um, mass produced one day. I cut all of the centers and I just spent a while doing that and I got them all done all at the same time. So then I piled them all up and I have seven. I don't know if I mentioned that. I probably did, so I'm sorry. I transfer them. And I have something um, that I use for setting brads. And I just kind of poke a hole through it. And with the wet paper, it's a little denser, so it doesn't... It's not as easy as with dry paper. There we go. There we go. And so I have a little silver brad. I'm just going to stick through that hole. And then I'm going to open it up. If I can. There we go. And so now, what you do is you take each piece and you individually crinkle it up. So I've just been using this like pokey thing on the end 
and it has made it really easy. So with the first one, just the first one I had done, it opened up, which was really nice, but I was able to see the silver brad. So I have some um, Scotch quick dry adhesive, and I just give it a little dab, not too much, just a little bit, right there in the center, and it's great because it just kind of gives it that initial closure, and when it dries, it dries clear if any does come up and over the top of the flower, and it helps just hold it closed so that way there's no angles at which the brad will be seen. So that's what I was disappointed with when I did my first one. You kind of moved it and all of a sudden you had like a silver flash and for me that just wasn't something I wanted to see with my little flower. So I went back and I got some of the adhesive and it did, I added some with too much and it over, over like poured at the top when I squeezed it all closed but it dried clear and it was great. So this little brad thing, pokey thing, has come in really handy. And I know it's hard to see, it's really small, and I apologize, you've mainly just been watching my hands. Anyway, so you squeeze all of them up, and then you get something that looks like that. When you lay it flat, if you have any parts that are sticking up, you can just pull it flat, and you can kind of shape it to how you would like it to dry, because with it being wet, um, you can still just mold it and have it how you would like to look. Um, and so I have one that is dry, and here it is, and it's really hard too, which is nice. It has the consistency of like, um, like a pine cone, and so they're quite sturdy once you do that, and I really thought that'd be great because with the swap I'll be mailing them, and so it'll hopefully be intact when it arrives.